Some of the reasons we need a new church are the fact that we've outgrown the current place. Uh, when I came here two years ago, uh, it didn't take long to figure that out. Uh, we had standing room at some of the masses. We had uh, perpetual uh, parking problems. And uh, we had a lot of uh, demands for the use of our facilities that we're not able to accommodate. Uh, Knights of Columbus, uh, other related groups, and most importantly, uh, space for our religious ed, uh, for our children and youth. It's really one of the key missions of the parish to transmit the Catholic faith. And uh, it really shocked me to learn that um, we run four weekly tracks of religious ed just to get, get all the, the kids through. In a previous parish, uh, several previous parishes, uh, much smaller than this, uh, we had many more religious ed rooms and facilities and so forth. And uh, at the same time, the staff of the parish was expressing some of their concerns about our inability to grow. And various uh, parishioners representing different groups were explaining to me their frustration over our calendar process because it's hard to get a room here. And sometimes we have to bump somebody and uh, we can't really evangelize in the way that we need to do. Uh, and reach out not only to our current parishioners, but also to the growth that's coming in, in this part of the world. At the same time, uh, the diocese has been doing some strategic uh, planning and uh, hired several groups that do demographics. Uh, and it's, I think, widely known that we live in a, a part of the world that's growing a lot. Uh, you just have to drive down 1171 and you see that every day. Things that used to be pr pretty fields are now uh, housing developments. And, uh, in the strategic plan of the diocese, there's also the need for us to be able to accommodate a lot larger uh, parish <clears throat> because we are the parish for Highland Village, Louisville, and Flower Mound. Uh, there won't be another parish in this area. Um, and so we need to be able to uh, accommodate the growth that's coming in as well as reach out you know, in a, in a spirit of evangelization as Pope Francis has called us to do to uh, re go to those on the margins, go to the unchurched, go to the fallen away Catholics. And, uh, and invite them in and make them part of God's family through, through baptism in the sacramental life. So it was an interesting timing of both uh, our own local needs and the strategic needs of the diocese, recognizing the growth in our parish and the growth in our area. It was interesting to me, for me to learn that um, uh, in, the, in the last um, 10 years or less, our parish has grown by over a thousand families. And, uh, that's an exciting reality, it's also a challenging reality.